We will now see how to install COSEX standard door controller when it is used as direct door. You know that Matrix offers various models of standard door controllers. Installation process for all the models is the same. Here we will carry out the installation process of COSEC door FCS, the standard model with capacitive fingerprint reader. It is a good practice to verify the contents of your package. If any items are damaged or missing, contact your supplier. Next, choose an appropriate location for mounting the door controller considering the suggestion I have given. Then prepare the required opening which can accommodate various cables to be connected to the door controller. Door controllers come with mounting plates. Fix the mounting plate on the opening using the mounting screws at the chosen location. Then pass all the cables from various interfaces like door lock etc through the mounting plate. Before mounting the door controller, let's connect all the cables for networking, power supply, input and output. We will now start with the RF module. The RF module is a pluggable card reader module. We call it card personality module or CPM. CPMs are available in four different options like EM Prox, HID Prox, MyFair Smart and HID iClass Smart. So COSEC products support different contactless card technologies which are widely accepted. You need to insert it at the rear side of the door controller and reader. Place the RF module in the slot provided. Press it gently to ensure that it is properly set. The external reader port supports a single reader with vegand or serial interface. As you know, Matrix offers various options for external readers. Cosec Reader CA with vegand or serial interface, Cosec Reader FO with serial interface, Cosec Reader FC with serial interface. Before we proceed, I will show you a general practice to connect the wires to the terminals on the Cosec door. Strip off about half a centimeter of the installation, depress the lever of the connector, insert the wire and release the lever. It's better that you check the firmness of the connection. If you need to remove the wires, depress the levers and pull out the wires gently. Now let's connect the Kosei external card reader. It comes with a 15 core cable. The reader end has a relimit connector while the other end has a set of color coded conductors. Prepare a suitable opening for exit reader at a suitable location. Use the mounting plate as template. Then pass the cables to connect the reader to the door controller. Let's see how to connect serial as well as vegan type of interfaces. The connection depends on the kind of their interface type. If you want to connect the vegan interface, it can be done this way. In case you want to connect the serial interface, it can be done this way. Observe the difference between both types of interfaces. After the connections, mount the reader on the mounting plate. Then secure it with the screw provided. We will now connect the COSEC external fingerprint reader. Prepare a suitable opening for exit reader at a suitable location. Use the mounting plate as template. Then pass the cables to connect the reader to the door controller. Now let's do the connections to the door controller. It is done this way. Do remember to connect the RX terminal of the reader to the TX terminal of the door controller while the TX terminal of the reader to the RX terminal on the door controller side. After the connections, mount the reader on the mounting plate. Then secure it with the screw provided. Now let's do the remaining connections to the door controller. You can connect different types of door locks with the matrix COSEC door controller like electromagnetic locks, bolt locks, strike locks, etc. Terminal numbers 21 to 24 are for the relay NO, COM, NC and positive 12 volt DC for the door lock. For using 12 volt DC power supply from the COSEC door you need to short the positive 12 volt DC and the COM terminals prior to connecting the NC or NO and the zero volt to the door locking device. Now connect positive end of the door magnet 
to terminal number 23 and negative end to terminal number 21. For locks of higher capacity, use an external 24 watt DC power supply. You can connect three different inputs to the COSEC door controller. You can keep a maximum distance of 600 meters for one line. The terminal pair 31 and 32 is assigned for the request to exit inputs, like exit switch. Similarly, the terminal pair 11 and 12 is designated as door contact inputs for sensing door status. For supervised inputs, you must connect the 4.7 kilo ohm end of line resistors like this. You can connect output from another device like smoke detector or fire alarm system to the auxiliary input port on terminal pair 9 and 10. Use the auxiliary output port to connect the external devices like siren or hooter, etc. You can use the dip switches 1, 2 and 3 to load the default values of IP settings, password and system parameters respectively. Let me explain how to do this. Slide the switch to on position and supply power to the door controller. Then disconnect the power and restore the switch to its original position. The door controller will load the factory default value for respective parameter. Now let's see how to connect the door controller to the COSEC application server using TCP IP. It is actually very simple. Connect the Ethernet cable from the LAN on which the COSEC application server is connected to this Ethernet port. Now we will supply power to the COSEC direct door. You can supply power from the 12 volt DC adapter by connecting its positive cable end to terminal number 1 and negative end to terminal number 2. If you want to supply power from matrix PSBB instead of the DC adapter, connect the cables in the same way to the same terminals of the door controller. We are done with all the connections. Let's mount the door controller. Set the enclosure against the mounting plate and then gently push it downwards to fix it to the mounting plate. Secure the enclosure firmly to the mounting plate with the screw provided. Let's power up the door controller and observe its power on sequence. These indicator LEDs display various parameters. This flash is green when access is allowed. This flash is red when access is denied. This flash is red in the event of alarm. This flash is green when door is connected with COSEC monitor application. In case when the ethernet cable is connected but the COSEC monitor application is not running, it flashes amber. In case of no connectivity with COSEC monitor application at all, it flashes red. There we are. We have successfully completed the hardware installation of standard COSEC direct door and it is now ready for configuration and further use.